This is the verb reyerse, to laugh, in the preterite. Now remember, preterite means it happened like one time in the past. Uh, yesterday he laughed, or last weekend we laughed when we watched the movie. Okay? Now I'm going to say each form of the verb in English and Spanish and clap, and then I'd like you guys to repeat. All right, before we start, let me just say, this is, a, this is not really a Spanish 2 verb. This is really a Spanish 3 verb. Um, I'm putting it in for Spanish 2 just for reference in case you run across it, but just realize it's, it's very tricky, very irregular. Um, I talked about that in the present tense, so uh, don't, don't spend a whole lot of time in this verb in Spanish 2. Just kinda, I just want you to be able to see it in case you run across it and you're curious, okay? I laughed. Me reí. I laughed. Me reí. You friend laughed, te reiste. You friend laughed, te reiste. He laughed, se rio. He laughed, se rio. We laughed, nos reimos. We laughed, nos reimos. And they laughed, se rieron. They laughed, se rieron. This is strange on so many levels. First of all, why is laughing reflexive? You're not laughing to yourself. Uh, putting on clothes is reflexive. You're doing it to yourself. Shaving is reflexive. But why is laughing reflexive? That's the first question. Okay. Second question. 99% of the time in Spanish, it's I before E. Okay. In English, it's mostly I before E. But in Spanish, 99% of the time, I can only think of five words in Spanish that are ever EI. The word six, seis, twenty, veinte, thirty, thirty. Trenta, uh, baseball, baseball, and the verb reírse. Okay, and notice here it is. It's e i e i e i. Okay, another weird thing. Every form has an accent. It's one of the only preterite verbs I can think of. In fact, it's the only preterite verb I can think of where every form has an accent. Okay, and also it's some sort of a weird twisted sandal verb. Notice up here it's e i e i e i, but down here it's i. So again, um, don't don't worry a whole lot about this. I just wanted to show it to you in case you bump into it in a reading or a translation. You can look at it. But again, this is a Spanish three or a Spanish four verb. All right, there we go.